it's Kane here for the Vegas Arts. I've got another tutorial in Sony Vegas for you today. Um, a few people have been asking me how to do the, the wave warp effect that I did in Gutter. Um, it'll be at the beginning of this video, but I haven't made it yet. I'm making it as I go along, so I, I hope you get what I mean. Anyway, um, as you can see, I'm in Vegas now. I've done nothing so far other than uh, get the shots lined up with the beat, so as you listen... Right, that's the only thing I've done so far, and play some markers, obviously. Um, no effects added to the uh, clip yet, as you can see. Hold on, because I've got, yeah. Right, there's nothing there so far. Hold on, because I've, I've got a dual-monitored laptop now. But, um, anyway. Uh, so, no effects so far, just a plain clip with markers and the song. And synced, obviously. For Wave Warp, you are going to need a plugins pack, which is called Sapphire. Um, I have Sapphire 6. Um, I can't give any links out for it, because one thing, that's illegal. And the second thing, that could probably damage uh, um, the Vegas Arts' chances of getting a partnership one day. And I'm pretty sure we'd all like that to happen, as a team anyway. But the effect you're going to use is called S underscore warp waves um you could probably use warp waves too as well but i don't um this is a cleaner effect i think but um first things first what i'm going to do is going to split all of these clips where the markers are because then you can do something very quick and easy you can copy and paste the event attributes which will speed the whole process up for you so much. Sometimes it doesn't work for me in Vegas, because um, my Vegas is so bad. Um, it just plays up all the time, but hopefully today it works. Right, as you can see at the moment, that this doesn't actually look that good. So you just play around the settings. I tend to put a very high frequency and a very, very low amplitude. So we get this. Then you're going to want to uh, you can want to animate the amplitude, and I like, quite like to animate the angle as well. Let's put the angle to zero at first. Actually, let's put, let's put it to 180. No, no, that won't change anything, will it? We want it on 90. Right there, we go. I'll leave it in 90 for this tutorial. It looks quite nice. But um, you want to go to the end of the clip and put the amplitude down to zero so as you should be able to see this quite well uh, right you're at the start of the clip as you go down the wave warp slowly disappears it's more noticeable if you have it higher at the start I'll put it a little bit higher there we go see that looks nice uh, I'll add a colour correction as well, just because it will look quite good. Um, let's go for... Let's see how uh, Dace's colour correction looks. Hmm, maybe not this one. Actually, that looks alright. Yeah, let's go with this one. Anyway, if I preview this you'll be able to see that it's quite a nice wave warp effect it's just it's not used because no one has these plugins it's not that noticeable at the moment but I'm going to copy this and you select all of these other clips by going shift clicking on the first one click, clicking on the last one paste event attributes and if I'm lucky, there we go. Look, that will go back down to zero, fade out like the rest of them. Right, and if I preview this quickly, it'll take a little while. I don't have the best laptop in the world, so I can't do that much with Vegas at once. But I'm I'm managing with it. Um, while this is doing this, uh, I'll just say, if you want tutorials on anything else, write a comment below 
either on my channel or on the Vegas Arts channel. Um, I'm happy to do them, it's just I'm not going to do them if people don't want them or I don't know people want them. Because I've got some nice effects that I've got coming out soon. Um, I'm going to work on an edit soon. I can, I'm pretty damn sure that the Baker, Baker's Toots effect with the gun build up, if you haven't seen it, it's a really nice effect. Watch his edit, fucking vicious. Um, and the gun builds at the start. I'm pretty sure I can do that in Vegas now. It's just not 100% perfect. But if people want a tutorial on that, I can do one on that. Or I can do one on an advanced CC lens. Uh, one where, not CC lens, CC tiles, where the tiles will actually move. Anyway, back to the edit. Right, that looks alright. Uh, right, where the shot happens. Uh, the shot can have, it can have a different colour correction. Let's go, maybe not that one, a bit too red and dark. No, nope, 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 no, 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 yes, yes, this will do. Um, what can I do with the shot? This tutorial is mainly just for the wave warp, which is done. Uh, let's see what else I can do, because I might as well do something else, because that was a really short effect. It's not, uh, it's not that great either. It's quite good, it's just not the best. Uh, as you can see, I've got loads of plugins, by the way, guys. Um, I've probably got one of the most... I'm probably one of the people with the most plugins for Vegas out there, I'd say, just because I have so many. Uh, right, LB New Blue Light Blends Light Ring is a very nice transition because you can have it look like a CC lens, but I've not done it quite well enough. So, actually, Control Z, Control Z. And what I'll do is split this clip here, drag it into the here, and fade that out, add the light ring. Let's move that back for a minute, just so I can get to the video event effects. Get rid of this magic bullet looks. Uh, and then, if I'm lucky, nope, nope, I'm not lucky, it's done it the wrong way around, sugar, right, let's do it, oh, we want it to go this way then, so, get the crystal ball preset again, and let's see how it looks now. Maybe let's drag it, uh, pull it back a bit. Uh, I've messed this up. I'll leave it how it is. It's not going to be a good edit for me anyway. I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes. It might look, it might not look that bad. Let's see how it looks like so far. You can't really notice it. I'm going to take it out actually because it's it's just not noticeable. Um, if you haven't seen that the Vegas Arts is having a, a a contest at the moment to join us actually, um, watch that because I did a very good CC lens in there where it worked very well. I used this preset on new blue light blends, not light blends light ring. I really cannot speak. Uh, I think that might be it for this tutorial then, because there's not much else I can show. Actually, for the people who do have this plugin, what I'll do, um, some good things to mess around with. Uh, angle. One of the obvious ones. 
she changes the angle of the blur. Displacement angle, what does this do? I'm not entirely sure what displacement angle does. Uh, play around with it, you can get some nice effects going. Uh, Z distance uh, can add a... I think it adds a... Yep, it's similar to CC tile. But it's not that great. Uh, oh, we don't want that. What was it at? Uh, one. There we go. Uh, leave these as they are. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all I do for my wave warp. Um, yeah, that is it. I can't really do much else on this because there's not much else to do. Uh, it's just, what have I done here? Right, I've messed up the wave warp. What have I done? I didn't change the angle. Never mind, it'll be fixed for the final render. Paste. Uh, that's pretty much it. Actually, I had a nice gunshot. Oh, gunshot. Uh, I got a very nice gunshot from a pack the other day, actually. Uh, where is it? Gun sounds. Uh, I'm going through my folder, by the way, actually. Because I've got two screens at the moment. I've got my laptop screen, and then I've got HDMI cable over to my TV screen, which is on, which is what I'm recording the tutorial on, which is why you can't see me looking through my files. No, I don't have any naughty things on there. I'll just preview preview this, and that should be it for this tutorial. I've said that a few times now, but I can't really do anything else on it. Because there's nothing else to do. But let's just preview this and see how it is. Um, let's just fade this out. Fade this out. And I'll fade this out here. Press U, delete this audio, delete this clip, uh, delete this audio, and that's actually turned out quite nice. I might be using this song for an edit soon, so yeah, that's it. I'm Kane for the Vegas Arts. This has been a wave warp tutorial for Sony Vegas. Uh, want any more? Tell me.